everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a really exciting video this is probably like some of my favorite videos to film over like the year because i love being organized i love packing and i love going on holiday <laughs> so this video is like the perfect thing i've just made myself a coffee because i need the energy today i think i might need to make another one after because there is a lot to do and i've also i feel like i talk about it in every single video i've sneezed so much to the point where my eyes feel really tired does anyone else get that is anyone else's hay fever this year so much worse than it's ever been <laughs> or is it just me because i take an antihistamine and it doesn't do anything so i'm like what do i do now um and i've seen loads of people online talk about it and they're like oh my god hay fever this year is just extra bad and it's just it's not cool <laughs> it's just so frustrating because i kind of wake up and i think Am I alright today? And then when that first sneeze comes, I know, that's it, I've like broken the seal <laughs> and I'm just sneezing all throughout the day. Anyway, moving on from all the hay fever talk, me and Bradley are going on a cruise next week. We're going on Royal Caribbean Anthem of the Seas. We actually went on it last year, but this year we're going on it with my family um, and I'm really excited. I'm hoping to film about two vlogs when we're there and we're going to different places than when we went to like last year. Um, and the weather's meant to be a lot nicer because if you've watched the previous vlogs from my cruise last year I think I filmed three um, The weather wasn't it was so nice, but it wasn't like holiday weather um, But Bradley's been looking every day and he's like it's gonna be really hot So we're really excited. So I don't know if you guys know with a cruise you can literally pack Whatever you want the luggage allowance. It doesn't exist. I mean, I think it can go up to like 80 kg or something it's something ridiculous that you're not even going to do um you can bring whatever you want as long as like it can kind of fit in your room so i like to bring my really big suitcase which i'll show you guys in a second my small suitcase and then i'm going to bring this bag here which is my abbott lion one to put i think my bags in because i don't want to ruin them so yeah i think we're going to do that and then i put all my holiday clothes out on a rail funny story i got a rail literally built it yesterday because i thought i want to be really organized for this video built the rail yesterday my clothes are too heavy for the rail that the rail was broken already and it's not even been 24 hours since it's been up so that's a good start i can't believe it i just oh it's a joke but anyway that's fine so yeah i've got a lot of clothes um i feel like i need to get some more evening outfits but we can kind of like talk through what i've got um, as you can see behind me is a lot of accessories and bits and bobs. The only things I haven't bought yet is toiletries. I need to go to Tesco's and I need to get some. But me and Bradley thought we go food shopping every Sunday. So we may as well go on Sunday and get it all. So I could show you guys that in my next video. Um, but I'm going to keep a bag out for the toiletries. And I've written a list on my phone of everything that I need. Okay, so this is my list. I actually found it from last year when we went away. Um, and obviously it's everything that we need so I've just like redone it and I've like, changed a couple of things so I've got toiletries electrical clothes shoes other which is like first aid things and like tablets and stuff bags skincare makeup and hair <laughs> there's a lot and I like to be really detailed with my list because I don't want to forget anything it is the worst thing when you go away and there's like, even if it's something little and you forget it and you're like, oh, I just need it. So I like to bring more than I need. Um, but I remember from the cruise last year, I actually used everything. And one thing I did need was more formal stuff, like clothes and stuff for the evening. Um, so I've tried to get some bits and I think I need to get some more to be honest with you because looking at it all, I'm not too sure if I've got enough. Oh, I always have so many day things, but the evening stuff I just I need to get more um, and I feel like I've lost my really nice dresses from last year I cannot find them anywhere I was saying to Bradley I swear I have a bag of summer clothes that we usually put in the loft or the garage and they're missing I cannot find them so that's great <laughs> but anyway I'll show you guys everything that I've got now and um, I hope you're nice and cozy I've literally nearly drank my whole coffee um, and we'll probably make another one soon 
I hope you're nice and cozy. I hope you're looking forward to today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'm really excited for the next few videos because, because obviously we're going around holiday. I've obviously got some vlogs coming up and we're moving house, <laughs> which is really exciting. I kind of mentioned it in my last video, but it wasn't 100% but it's 100%, we're moving house. So it's all so exciting. So we're literally going away and then we come home and we've got a couple of weeks to pack our house basically. <laughs> so not a long time, but it'll be really good. I'm excited for all the vlogs to come. Um, I'm excited to take you guys along this journey with us. So an exciting few months ahead. Um, and if you aren't subscribed, please do because you'll be notified on every single time I upload and you won't miss an upload. But yeah, anyway, let me show you guys what I've got and the section. Okay, over here, in this side of my beauty room is my rail. Can you see, it's bent, um, and this is like completely to that side. I don't know if you can see, I've had to lean it on there because it collapsed, so this is just holding the clothes up temporary. Um, but yeah, this is the clothes I'm taking. Some of the hangers are this way because of how it fell, but it's fine because I'll take them off anyway. So I've got some pajamas here. I've got some shorts. I've tried to do it in order. Shorts, trousers. I've got some tops. How gorgeous is this one? It's like a crochet kind of one. Um, I've got loads of dresses. So I've got loads and loads of summer dresses. You can't go wrong. I've got some tighter dresses and like play suits and stuff, but I also like to bring extra floaty ones. Just in case I don't feel like wearing a tight one that night, if you know what I mean. Um, so these are all of mine that I actually wore last year as well. Blazer dresses, these are really handy because they're like wrapped. Um, another dress. Literally so many summer dresses. Um, I love this from In The Style. This is like Perry Shan's dress, like her range. Blazers, because obviously the ship is like air and stuff. You can wear like trousers and things in the evening and you're not going to be hot. Um, Cover-ups and then swimsuits. So there's a lot of clothes and I still need to pack more. In our garden, can you guys see there in our garden? Um, I've just put out loads of washing. So I've got some white stuff, some trousers um, and some summer dresses as well. So <laughs> that's all there. So these are my suitcases. I'll pop a link to this one in the description box. It is absolutely massive. I mean, I don't really know what to do in the ratio, but it is huge. Um, and I got it on Amazon, it's so affordable. It's really light as well, so you can literally fit so much in, which is really handy. And it's got the four like swirly, twirly wheels. <laughs> so it's easy to kind of push. Um, this one is from Primark, and again, it's the same. So when you go on a cruise, you have to print off um, your tags so they know what room you are. This is our one from last year, so we need to print off new ones. Um, but these cases are really good because they're obviously waterproof and it's not going to ruin these. So, love those. Um, but yeah, these are the suitcases. Oh, and this is the one for the bigger one. Okay, <laughs> then we move over to this side of the beauty room. This is a mess, <laughs> but it's kind of organised mess and I think you guys will know what I mean. So I think I'm trying to work out what bag I want to take to travel with. Um, I'm tempted to do this one because you can fit a lot in um, and it looks really nice, but we'll see. Um, so I've got some little bits and bobs everywhere. So I've got our passports here. This is the makeup bag that I usually take with me in my handbag so I can pack that. Um, sanitise spray. These are really good to take. I need to just buy new heads for them. Um, this one I think will be my skincare and like toiletry bag. So this is obviously what I need to buy in Tesco. So I'll keep that one like free and empty and make sure I've got space for that in one of my suitcases. So over here we have some bags. These are so good. I think this is from Matalan. And um, this is really good to travel with for like hair things or literally any kind of toiletries and stuff. Um, I've got some scrunchies, some skincare things, like the head headband and stuff. Um, I also like to put my posh bags that I'll take in the dust bag. Um, so I need to get all the bags that I want as well um, and work out which ones I'm going to take. Um, I've got this camera, which is the perfect one to take pictures with. This is a tripod that like suctions onto a window, so I might use that for the hotel room. Um, I've got some face wipes. This, I kind of want to do a little pedicure before we go but I also think I might take some bits just in case. Okay I've got two jewellery boxes 
Um, I don't know which one I'm going to take yet. So I think it depends what I can kind of fit more in. This is the one I took last year. Um, and it's really handy. It's just like that. It's from Amazon. It's really affordable. Um, and this one, Bradley's mum actually got for me for Christmas. And then this bit opens as well. So it's really similar to this, but it's just a bit smaller. I think I'll probably take this one just because this bit's a bit bigger. Um, and then I've laid out some more jewellery that I want to take. So yeah, this is the jewellery. I basically need to rearrange this to decide on the jewellery that I really want to take. So I've got some really nice earrings and like... Um, like statement necklaces and stuff like that um, and then I'll just organize it in here so this I don't think I've even emptied from last summer um, but I love all these rings and stuff this headband I thought would be really cute with like curly hair this little scarf it's like a really good um, like multi-use kind of one um, you can put it in your hair you can put it around your bag there's loads of like different ways um, and I really like the colors of it it's really summery so I thought I could take that this is the only like sun cream and after sun that I've got at the minute. Um, so they are both in date, but I think I'll need to go to Tesco's and get another one, especially of um, the sun cream. And then over here, I've got some products which are more like glow tanning kind of products. Um, I've got the By Terry Tea to Tan. Obviously we're going away on holiday. I don't like to tan my face. I realized as I get older, it's really important to like protect your skin, especially your face. Um, and I'm getting a lot more moles and stuff like that. And I just, you know, I just want to be sure. So I'm going to wear a lot of summer hats and stuff. And then in the day, I can just top up with this if I want to. Um, this is so amazing. This is like an instant tan. Um, it doesn't go patchy and it doesn't transfer. But then you wash it right off and then it's gone. It's honestly incredible. Um, so I love that. So I thought just if I want to like tan my legs up, especially at the beginning of the holiday, this is perfect. These are 10 out of 10. If you know, you know. These are incredible. You pop them in with your moisturiser. These are the only tanning drops that doesn't make me break out. Um, and I've tried a lot. <laughs> so yeah, these are incredible. Um, I've got two of these. I'm going to just pick one. These are like body illuminators. I remember I used this last year, but I'm going to try both of them and then see which one I want to take. Um, this is a tan. Again, it's like a shimmery one though. Um, and I love the effect that it has. It's so good. So I thought I could bring that as well. And um, this is like an oil glitter. How insane. Um, and then a brush to apply some of them. I've also put my tanning mitts in the sink with warm water and some soap just to like wash them. So I'll like let them dry today and then I can pack them. I'm really sorry if I sound annoying or nasally. <sighs> it's so frustrating. But anyway, we move. And then over here, I've taken out all the bags that I like to travel with. Um, so they're all empty at the minute and they're really good to have. I like to use like packing cubes and stuff, but more for like accessories and toiletries, like actual products. I feel like with clothes, unless you're going away for a short period of time, like a week, it does take up a lot of space in your suitcase. So these are all for like actual products. So I've got this for my makeup, which I took last year. Oh my God, it's amazing. Um, I need to find my portable mirror actually, because the lighting in the rooms isn't the best when you want to do your makeup. And these are really good just to like put brushes and stuff in. Um, I'm not sure if I'll take this, but these are really good when you're traveling just to put your makeup in, but I probably won't take that one. Um, more travel things. You guys know I love these kind of clutches. I've got some empty bottles here. I think in here I'm gonna put some like clothes washing laundry kind of stuff in case we need to wash anything i usually like to wash my swimsuits because i really wear a lot of them so in the sink or in the shower i'll just pop um some comfort or some like washing bits in there in here <laughs> this is amazing this is my sunglasses holder um, and I used this last year and it was so good. So I need to like refill my favorite sunglasses. Um, and then over here, we've got some hats. I love this one, um, which is from Next. And then these two are from Primark. Um, so I thought I could just take them maybe in that bag as well so they don't get ruined. Over here <laughs> is all of my shoes and sandals that I think I'm gonna take. Last year when we went, I did wear a lot of them that I brought. Um, so I've got some really nice sandals, wedges, trainers. These are really good when you're like exploring the different countries. Um, little hills and stuff. So yeah, I obviously need to kind of limit the ones that I really want. 
but I'll probably take a lot of them. Um, and then over here, these are some bags I'm gonna take. These are just the small crossbody bags, but I need to go in my wardrobe room and have a look at the bigger bags that I wanna take, um, but yeah. I love them so much. <laughs> you can see that I'm an accessory kind of person. I like a lot of like plain outfits and then to kind of accessorize it with hair and makeup and bags and shoes. That's kind of my vibe. So I'm gonna get the other bags now and then decide on where the clothes and stuff are gonna go in what suitcase and where the accessories are gonna go as well. Okay, I've just taken the Abbott Lion ones as well. So, I need to work out which ones I want to take. Why is it you just want to take all of them? Um, so I've got these ones as well. I'll definitely take that one. I got so much use out of that when I wore it last year. Um, but it's just picking between these two now. I think I'm going to have a look at my outfits and then see what will go more. Because I have a feeling I might use these as beach bags. But we'll see. Um, oh god, I really love them. <laughs> It's so hard, honestly, most of my stuff is literally accessories, but I really love it. I do love packing, um, and obviously it's a mess right now, but it's gonna get cleaner when I've started packing. So I'm gonna clean this, and then put the suitcase on here, and then we can start. Things like underwear and socks, um, I'm not gonna pack until a few days before, because obviously I need them, <laughs> and we don't go away until um, just over a week, so yeah, I'll probably pack them last minute. Um, and then it gives me time to like pack anything else as well. But yeah, let's go. I have made a lot of progress. So all the clothes are in here. Um, I just closed it to see how much room we've got, but I need to put my swimsuits in there, which are all up there. I need to try them on to see which ones I want to take. Um, in this suitcase, I'm going to put my accessories um, and maybe some toiletry bits. I can definitely squeeze more in here, so I'll definitely put some other stuff in there as well. Um, so you would have just seen, I've packed 
my hair accessory bits in there which is really handy because I can just open it up and then display it in the cabin and then okay this is kind of hard to do with one hand but we're doing it so this is the jewelry um, I went for this one because it's a little bit bigger um, it is so handy there's a little mirror thing there so it's easy to kind of stand up and you can see all of your jewelry so I thought oh perfect I've got all my stuff in there um which is amazing and then I looked in this bag from Primark and I realized I've still got so many like accessories and stuff that I wanted to take so now I need to figure out how I'm going to put all of that in there <laughs> so that's the next step because there's loads of things I want to take like um this chain for glasses more sunglasses and this is a really good little bag um oh it's a little bit ruined now maybe I can just wipe that it says bikini bag and um, this is really good to put into your like beach bag put your phone and any valuables in so it's a good little pouch but yeah I need to figure out what accessories I want to take so looking at everything I want to take <laughs> I think I'm gonna to have to take this one as well which is so funny but if worst comes to worst I'll just put this in my hair luggage um, but yeah, there's so many things I want to take. <laughs> so, okay, let's pack this one. Okay, so... Um, I've got my hair accessory things in here, sunglasses in there, um, I've got two jewellery boxes, this is going to be the toiletry, so I, at the moment I've got sun cream in there, um, some cotton pads, I can just put them down there, blister plasters, I think I need to get more, I need to get the bigger ones, so I'll tick them off the list, um, and then I've got some floss, <laughs> so in here I actually need to get more sun cream, I'm going to put the shampoo and conditioner and body wash in here as well, um, and have a look at my list to see if there's anything else but like I said I'm gonna go to Tesco's on the weekend so I'll fill that up then but I'll just leave that there for now um so in here I've got my fake tan stuff um my fake tan mitts are currently drying outside um so in here I've actually got the bold gel I put this in there which is like all-in-one kind of thing um, to help wash any clothes this is really handy to have if you're going away on holiday especially for longer than a week when you want to kind of re-wear something um, in here I've mixed half comfort and half water and this is a really good DIY crease release it works exactly the same <laughs> um, honestly it's incredible um, so this is what I put in here for like crease release to get rid of any creases that we have especially on shirts and stuff and then in here is just comfort um, so the good thing about this is I can obviously wash clothes with this and make it smell nice. Or if we run out of this, which we did last time, I can just refill it. Um, so we've got this. Um, I didn't pick this head on it, so I probably won't use that, but I'll just unscrew it and then pour it in. Um, so then in here I've got some tanning bits, nail oil, fake tan stuff, body oil and brushes. Um, so that's handy to have in there. So in here is going to be my, let me move this, um, makeup. So I took this away with me last year. You can put brushes and stuff at the top. I'll take that out. And then these are really good like compartments to go there. And then you can kind of add little things like that into it. Um, so it's really good to see the makeup that you have so you can kind of design how you want it to look and fit and um, you can slot some palettes and things in here which is really handy and um, so this is just an overall really good makeup case and I loved it last year um, I'll probably put something like this or maybe put my brushes in something like that and um, which will be easy to kind of see maybe this one I've got loads of cases which is really handy because you can just have them for certain things and you know like you can just grab them um so yeah i've got my hair things i also need to take like my hairbrush and stuff so actually i might put my hair stuff in this one obviously i need my hairbrush <laughs> so i think i'll probably do stuff like that um i also want to get more deodorant and stuff like that that i can obviously put in there and then take away with us so that is the situation with these bags once they're compact and like, in the suitcase it'll be really easy i'm going to take my tripod which is in this little bag here 
Um, I'm not going to take that, so I'll just put that up there. Um, I need to work out what shoes that I want to take. So, I think the best thing to do is take one black pair of heels, a gold pair, and then a white pair. And then that's it for the heels, I think. Where's the other white one? Because oh. I think that way, that'll go with all my outfits. Um, and then I've also got wedges, which they're quite high, but I think they'll look quite cute with like a little summer dress or something. So they're my heels. Um, these are good trainers to have when we're like on excursions and stuff like that. So then all I need to bring now is my sliders. Um, I'll definitely take them. I've been wearing them non-stop recently. Um, I'm going to take the brown ones as well. I'll undo the labels. Um, these are really good to have by the pool. These are like really good pool ones. Um, what other ones? God, do you know what? I probably... <laughs> I don't need to take them all, but I'll just... Oh, I'll end up taking them all. Maybe I'll take white ones. They're good to have, aren't they? These, maybe. These ones, yep, they were so comfortable last year when I wore them. So I think I should bring them. Um, and then I've got my two clubby ones. Do you know what? I won't take the black ones. I'll take this colour. So they're the shoes. <laughs> oh, God. So I've just... I'm not taking those ones. Um, and then over here are the bags. I really want to take this bag, but... I'm going to take this black tote and I don't think I should take both of them. So I won't bring this one. And I think I'll bring them actually. I'll bring those and then I think I'm going to have these two or especially the big one as hand luggage. And then I'll have to put that one in there. What I could do is put bags within that bag if that makes sense. Um, but I love all these ones. Um, I need to find the dust bags for them, then it's easy to take, so yeah. Okay, I think we're doing really well. Um, so, I have a lot of space in here, obviously that's going to go in my hand luggage. Um, to put my makeup bag and the brushes so it's basically all this just that four that needs to go um, into here which will fit completely fine there's loads of room um, my shoes are here which are really handy um, the reason I also like packing a week before is in case yeah, you forget something and you're like oh my god I can like, put it in my bag do you know what I mean <laughs> I find it a lot easier um, this suitcase is basically packed how nice is this hat by the way um, I got it from Next and I'm obsessed. I'm going to carry it with me though. Um, so I think I'm going to take this bag as my travel bag because one, it's massive. It can fit so much in and then I can wear a brown crossbody bag as well with it. Um, so I'm going to wear one that's in here. Um, I need to sort this properly to be honest with you um, to figure out exactly, you know, what I'm going to wear. Um, and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's really easy um, and any bags that don't fit I can just put in here or in there probably in there actually um, and then yeah the stuff that is on the washing line outside when it's completely dry to be honest it probably is because it's been out for a few hours and it is hot today outside hence why I have my fan going on in here um, but apart from that I think we're all packed um, which is really good so yeah I'll fill up my makeup brushes the day before because I'll be using it all and my makeup need to buy some toiletries and then apart from that we're all good I'm gonna put my um what's it called tanning mitts in here and then close it and then put it in my suitcase and um, this is for any like skincare bits um so again I'll put that in there near the time so I like to just kind of leave it here until we leave so then I know that I need to fill it up um, and then I'm going to take this camera with me in my hand luggage and then that's it. Um, I've got some razors here. I'll probably just take one because you can just reuse the holder and then just change the head of it. So I'll just put that in my skincare one. Um, and then I think we're all good. We need to reprint the latest labels. Um, I'll put that downstairs. 
um, and yeah I think we're all good we're getting there the floor is now clear here <laughs> I mean it's not clear here because this is the stuff that I decided not to take so I need to hang that back up and put it in my wardrobe um, and then I also need to try on these swimsuits and see which ones um, that I want to take because I've got a lot of like similar ones if that makes sense so I kind of just want to minimalise it and take the ones that I'll actually be wearing. But yeah, I feel all good and prepared and it's nice to be like 90% packed, which is really helpful. So, oh, I feel really good. Anyway, my lovelies, I'm going to end this video here. I'm really sorry if it's late in going up. It's basically, I'm filming it real time. I'm filming it today. So yeah, it's been quite stressful, a lot to do, but I feel so good that the bulk of it's done. Um, I just need to clean the rest of my beauty room here. But that's fine, I'll do that tomorrow. But thank you for spending the day with me, packing um, for my holiday. I honestly can't wait. I'll have a couple of vlogs up before we go and hopefully one or two while we're away. But I'm going to try and like edit as we're away and then maybe upload. It depends on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> because I don't usually buy the Wi-Fi package when we're on the ship because it's not very good. Um, so usually I just have 4G. So it might have to wait until we come home. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for packing with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Um, I'll also try and leave links to the suitcase, bags, as much as I can, and like packing cubes and stuff like that in the description box down below. On my Amazon storefront, I've made a summer kind of list where it's got my travel stuff, my essentials, like sun cream, like my favourite top must-haves um, on Amazon. Um, so yeah, most of it, that I showed you guys in here is on that. Um, so definitely have a look. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video.